design computers for the military space, primarily in surface ships and submarines. So. point I have four kids my uh, husband who helped me start the company at the time um, had one and we were trying to figure out how we were going to do college pay for education be able to handle and afford these kids we had just gotten married about three years prior we would both had our own businesses sorted so we had dabbled with it so we were entrepreneurs and and you kind of uh, you, you realize what's the worst that could happen Jermaine is 14 years old now we started out as a consultancy we actually um, we're doing training courses and whatnot, teaching people about how to use computers and whatnot. We started to get uh, some um, requests for IT type uh, right. work and in the middle of that, in our first full year, which was 1998, we started to get a lot of requests for, can you build me a computer? We're tired of sneaker net. Can you come over here and help us uh, network these three computers? Can you build us a server? We want something to run our back office. Can you build us a website? So we would always, in your first year, everything is why not? because you can't right. turn any business down. So, of course, we said yes. Well, at the end of the first full year, we did about $650,000 out of my, my um, family room. We didn't really realize that we were a manufacturing company for several years because we spent the bulk of our time consulting, trying to find out what customers needed, what was the sweet spot price-wise, what the technology was, what was the application going to be for their uh, particular use. and. Um, we, we spent maybe half a day building, testing the server, and then delivering it. So the manufacturing side just wasn't even apparent to us. The, the name of the company, because you were germane to people's problems? That's or? why we selected it. However, the first no name, uh, Virginia said, somebody else has something that's too close to that, try again. We had lived on St. Germain Drive, so I know as we're going through the dictionary, that's why it stuck out at me. And so when I went to look at it, it was like, Jermaine, specific, cogent, to the point, oh yeah, that's us. So this is really a purchase order driven company and we, they, they don't, it's, they buy like it's a commercial Dell or anything. So it's not yep. like it's, our name is in things. Um, but the first unit that we produced for them, they went and, and tested it and they put it on their shock table. And it, the first requirement was it needed to pass um, Class B shock and Class B shocked they're, they're, uh, they said that they needed it to pass 15 G's and not have parts fly off of it. The server that they uh, tested with was put on the table. It was hit, uh, it started out at 2 G's. It was hit 20, a total of 23 times and the table reset and the computer kept running. So they were like, oh my God, commercial gear can work. And so I think we were part of that program, the uh, Archie program successfully proving that you can take commercial components and help and they can survive in a military environment. This is a, a fascinating story but there's got to be um, something or some things that keep you up at night. The, ne the challenge is just down the road whether it's technology, business. It's um, not, oh it's all of those. It's, you know, trying to make sure that we're on the forefront of technology and make sure that we're relevant for the customers, remain relevant, because I don't want to be the best buggy whip company. You know, it doesn't matter if we're doing something the best, but if they don't need it any longer, it matters not. Uh, what scares me the most probably is um, that problem that you didn't foresee, you couldn't plan for, and it just is, you know, the cust it's, it's something the customer can't live with, and so they go find somebody else. That's probably the thing that scares me the most. It's a lot of fun. I love what we do. I love manufacturing. I love in innovation, ingenuity. I love that type of thing. Yeah. So. And you did quality, it all while raising four kids? Yes. <laughs>